All right, let's do our <clears throat> warm ups first and then do some things for the legs. So, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get your core activated. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down. Circle those shoulders a couple of times just to release any stress and strain across them. Reach your little crown to the ceiling. Focus inward, bringing that yoga perspective. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out, spread your toes out. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, elbows slightly back, shoulders down. Inhale, bring your arms out to the front, shoulders released down. And then bring your hands behind you as you exhale. Press your hands to the floor, inhaling that upper body into a back bend. And as you exhale, pivot over at your hips. Head down towards your legs, bring those hands around towards your head. <clears throat> Circle your chin, get that neck releasing. And then bend your knees slightly, and again, work your way slowly back into the back bend, lifting your heart, drop your shoulders, spread your toes, and stretch your spine. <clears throat> Inhale upright, release your arms, and just notice how that circulation begins warming you a little more. And again, arms at shoulder level. Keep those shoulder blades toward your wrist, hands to your chest. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands and clasp them the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over. Lift your heart, stretch your head, straighten your knees, and then pivot at your hips. And just stretch the whole back of your arm. Move your arms around. Hands toward your head, tuck your chin maybe a little more, stretch the back of your neck. And then again, knees slightly bent, lift the ribs, sitting bones down as you wind from the bottom of your spine all the way into the back bend. Stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too high. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhale your way back into mountain pose and just again observe your body responding again today. Side stretch is next. Let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades both towards your waist and stretch your fingertips away. Lean to the side, no twist, so make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, spread those toes out. Reach out through your fingertips. And then inhale back up. Release your arm. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. And we'll do the other side. Arm out. Palm toward the ceiling. Hand above your shoulder. Push the hands. Lean to the side. And again, make sure you're leaning either a little looking up or to the front, but not down toward the floor. Get those ribs opening, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down a little deeper. And again, inhaling, come up, exhale into mountain. As you get back into mountain, pull those shoulders back and down. Feel the sides of your body a little more stretched in there. Really stretch your spine apart for our twist. So arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, spread your toes. Lift your heart and crown and exhale into the twist. Take a breath, stretch those bones apart and pivot it over in the twist. Keep the weight as much on both feet as you can. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. Pull your body just a little deeper toward your body, toward your leg if that works. And then stay in your twist and work your way up. And remember, upper body back bend as you get to the top, not in that lower back. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest up. Take a breath or two, stretch it out. And on an inhalation, come up, keep the shoulders down and switch the arms around. Pull them right next to your ears, stretch the spine apart. Exhale to the other side. Another breath. And as you exhale, keep the weight on both feet as you pivot. 
And again, just deepen on that side as much as your body wants. You notice what's different. And on an inhalation, arms by your ears, slowly in the twist, work up into that upper body back. Elbows back, shoulders down. Take a moment to breathe. Lift your heart. Stretch the back of your neck. Inhale again, upright. Exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up, extended down. And just reach the crown up. Sink evenly into your feet. Palms out. Bring the arms to shoulder level. Pivot at your hips. Chest leading, coming into that halfway down position. Stretch everything straight and long and drop down into Randall. Take a moment there. And then bring your hands up under your knees. Press the hands into your shins. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, stretching it out. Drop back into Ragdoll. Straighten your spine. Bring your arms right at shoulder level, straight out to the sides, and pivot up. See if those arms stay at shoulder level, if your shoulders stay down. Turn the palms up, look overhead, bring the hands together. Come into a little back bend, lifting your heart. Look at your thumbs, stretch the back of your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, and back into that and pose. Roll those shoulders a couple of times, and just take a moment to breathe. And then bring your feet together. Toes, big toes touching. The heels can be slightly apart. Bend your knees toward your second toes. Look a little bit in front of you. We're going to circle the knees, work the ankles, the arches, the toes, the knees, the hips, the lower back a little bit. And then stop and circle them the other way, getting things lubricated and loose. And then spread your toes way out, put them back down. Remember, you want to be on the balls of the foot, the base of the toes, not the toes themselves. And you want to lift your heels coming into the base of the toes, spreading your toes themselves. Look at that spot out in front of you and see if you can find your balance with the heels lifted. Take a moment and breathe. And then come back onto your heels. Stay on the base of the toes, but lift the toes themselves. So take a moment, just breathe, stretch it out. And then again, up onto the base of the toes, spreading the toes, finding the heel, oops, the heel lifting balance. And again, focus out there in front of you so that you have a stable point of view. And again, back and forth on the heels and toes, looking at the whole bottoms of your feet. And then straightening your knees again, coming back, feet hip width apart into mountain pose. Take a moment and stretch the spine apart, hands to your heart. Inhale, bring the arms all the way toward the ceiling. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just pivot on over. Lift the sitting bones, let the whole back of the legs stretch. So kneecaps toward your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs, let that back of your leg get a good stretch. And again, lift the toes. Feel that stretch lengthen a little bit more through the back of the legs. And then just bend the knees slightly. And again, roll back up and into mountain pose. Take a breath and step to the end of the mat. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling. Another little back bend. Exhale, pivot on over into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten in that halfway up, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Bend your knees, hands to the floor. Remember, you can raise with blocks or books if you need to. And we're going to step both feet back one at a time, coming into plank. So press way right out through the heels. Keep the ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Stretch the back of your neck. 
Don't tuck the chin too much. Just look at the space between your hands. Spread your fingers. Get the whole base of your hands on the floor. And press out through your heels. So keep, again, the knees as straight as you can. Remember, you can lift your he hips a little bit if you need to, if you feel like you're sagging through that lower bit. Stretch the head and heels away from each other. And then we're going to bring the knees to the floor and bring your elbows down onto the floor, hands sliding forward. So your forearms are on the floor, the hands are spread out. And then again, press into the base of your toes and lift the knees coming into that forearm plank. So again, hips, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Stretch the head and heels away from each other. Take a breath, stretch it out a little more, and then lower your chest to the floor. Release those toes straight back. Turn your head to the side, hands next to you, and shoulders down as you're on your belly. Take a moment there, just relax those shoulders, release the legs, circle those ankles, and the other way. Exhale, turn your head to the opposite side while you're doing that. Just getting those feet flexing and pointing, ankles circling both ways. And then forehead to the floor, bring your hands under your shoulders, press up and back into child's pose. Take a breath, and exhale tension. And then as you inhale, come on up and slide off your heels and come into staff position. So feet hip width apart, press out through your heels. Stretch the back of your legs just gently. Sitting bones slightly behind you. Shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Keep that core supporting you. So ribs toward your spine and up, getting that low back nice and supported. And then bend one knee and bring one foot up. And what we're going to do is massage the bottom of the foot. So circle the foot around both ways. Feel that ankle getting a good workout. And then pull the toes toward you and push the heel away. So the toes are coming up toward your knee. And the heel is pushing the opposite direction. And then point the toes and pull the heel back toward your knee and push the toes away. And then again, circle the ankle both ways. And release that foot. Feel the difference. And we're going to bring the other foot up. And again, just lifting that leg slightly, circle the ankle around both ways. Give it a good massage across the bottom of the foot. And then pull the toes back toward your knee, pressing the heel the opposite way. And then point the toes, pull the heel back toward the knee. And then releasing, again, circle the ankle both ways. And release bringing that leg back out to the front. Press the heels out, pull the toes back, get the back of the leg stretching. So remember, kneecap toward your thighs, kind of pull up on the kneecap, feel the front of the thighs maybe tighten a little and feel the back of the legs getting a little extra stretch. Push the sitting bones maybe a little further behind you or get a little pad behind you. And more active stretch up through your spine, hands next to you. Bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, bring the hands all the way down, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, bring the hands straight up above your shoulders, stretch the shoulder blades still toward your waist, really crowning fingertips up. Exhale again, sinking those hands to your shoulders, sinking down into your sitting bones. Stretch way, way, way up. Keep the shoulders down. Pivot at your hips, 
Lead with your chest toward your legs. Reach for your toes or your ankles or whatever you can bring your hands to. Push the sitting bones a little further back. Pull those kneecaps again toward your thighs. Get the backs of your legs sinking down toward the floor. Sitting bones pushing one way, heels the other. Chest coming toward your legs. Keep that crown reaching toward your toes. Keep your spine as straight as you can so you're not tucking your chin and rounding. You're just bringing the whole body in that pivot from the hip joint, bringing the chest down toward your knees. Keep lengthening. Keep pushing out through the heels. Spread your toes. You can hold your toes. You can put your fingers between them. Or you can just put your hands on the bottoms of your feet if you can reach that far. Or you can just hold your ankles and really push out through the bottoms of the heels. So crown toward your toes a little bit further. Pull that chest maybe a little further toward your knees. Feel those kneecaps working up toward your thighs. Feel the backs of your legs sinking down toward the floor. Take a breath. Bring your head up a little bit more. Stretch that spine really long. Push those sitting bones back. Exhale. Chest a little further toward your legs. And then tuck your chin if you want to stretch through that whole upper back. Knee, uh, forehead toward your knees. And then bring your head back up again. <clears throat> bring your arms next to your ears. Straighten your spine. Pivot. Keep those shoulder blades toward your waist as you bring your fingertips back straight up above your shoulders. Palms out, coming all the way down to the floor. Take a moment as you get back into staff position, just feeling your spine, and don't forget to breathe. And then separate your legs, push the sitting bones behind you, keep pressing out through your heels. So remember, keep those kneecaps coming toward your thighs, tightening the thighs so the backs of your legs can keep going down toward the floor. So you can go as wide or not wide as your body wants for this position. We're going to do a little side stretch on this one. So hands again to your sides, palms down as you bring your arms to shoulder level, shoulder blades still towards your waist, palms up, bring the arms right above your shoulders, still shoulder blades towards your waist, shoulders away from your ears, crown and fingertips reach up, exhale, hands right down toward your shoulders, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch way, way up, but remember, shoulders still always going down. Exhale, sink. Inhale, give yourself a really good stretch. And then as you exhale and bring your hands down, turn toward one leg. Take a breath. Inhale, stretch again. Oh, let's do that. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch. So this hip can be a little bit, or sitting bone up a little bit because you're going to bend forward, chest toward the knee or moving toward. And again, reach for your toes if you can, but keep pressing the heel away even if you can't. You can hold your ankle or your leg or just put your hands on the floor or keep them by your ears. Keep reaching for that foot. Take a breath. Exhale. Head reaching toward your hands, toward your toes. Keep breathing, keep stretching. Go as deep as your body wants. And then turn toward the center and bring your arm inside the elbow, inside the knee. Hold your ankle, bring the other arm out behind you. Look toward it. And then we're going to bring that hand coming up and over and arm next to your ear. Reach for your toe. You may not make it, that's okay. But reach in the direction of your toe and keep those fingertips reaching away. If they go all the way to your foot, you can hold your foot. And then look to the front, or if you love a really good twist, you can rotate with a little leverage in that elbow on your knee and look more a little bit up toward the ceiling. So hand reaching toward your toes, arm next to your ear, facing the front or slightly further up toward the ceiling. Remember, this hip can be slightly up so you're not overworking that low back. Take a breath, press up through both heels, pull those toes back toward you, and then bring the arm in the air up 
Let it lead you back to your seated position. Stretch those arms out, shoulders down. Release the arms. Feel the difference on the sides of your body. Yeah, so we're going to have to balance and do the other direction. So again, get comfortable with your legs. Kneecaps towards your thighs, backs of the thighs stretching as you press out through your heels and pull those toes back. Shoulders back and down, core active, spine stretching up, arms at your sides. Palms toward the floor as you bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep those shoulders down. Palms toward the ceiling. And again, up above your shoulders, but shoulders still toward your knees. Exhale, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, give yourself a good stretch. Exhale, come on down, sink into it, and inhale and stretch. One more time, just sink and give yourself a really good stretch this time. And as you exhale, sink those hands to your shoulders and turn toward the other leg. Breathe in and stretch, keep those toes up, heels pressing out. Exhale, release. So get a good sink down. Keep those shoulders down as you bring the arms back up. And again, pivot at your hips. This hip can come slightly up, sitting down off the floor as you pivot toward your knee. Reach for your toes or keep the arms by your ears. Just keep reaching out, bringing your chest toward your legs, head toward your toes, toes toward your head, and heel pressing away. Kneecap toward your thigh, keep that knee stretching straight on the back of your leg as much as you can. Pivot as far deep into that position as you want. And then shoulders still toward your waist, bring that elbow inside your knee, hold your ankle, bring the other arm out. Look at it as you inhale, bring it up. Turn the palm toward the floor as you bring your arm by your ear and reach for your toes on this side. Just notice one side may be easier than the other. Don't worry about it. Just balance your body and work both sides evenly. Take a breath, head reaching toward your toes, toes pulling back, heel pressing out, back of the leg toward the floor as much as it will go. Keep looking to the front or pull a little bit deeper into the twist, looking slightly up toward the ceiling. Take a breath, head reaching way toward your toes, Elbow and knee pressing into each other, just gently. And again, twist as much as you want, forward or slightly toward the seat. And then arm releasing, bringing your body back up, pivot back to the center, arms reaching out, shoulders down, arms toward the floor, release the arms. Take a breath, exhale, tension. So make sure those sitting bones are slightly behind you. We're going to go forward this time. So as we do, you will never get to the floor unless you're really flexible. If you're really flexible, you know, you may want a little pad there so that you don't smash your face into the floor. But for most of us, we don't need that. You can bring your hands to your sides again, shoulders down, arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders. And again, stretch up through the fingertips and head, but down with the shoulders. Exhale, hands down to your shoulders, sink way into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, and sink. One more good stretch up. And then arms by your ears, chest and chin leading, pivot toward the front. And you can reach your hands toward your toes if you feel like that would be safer. But don't worry, you're probably not going to get anywhere near the floor. Keep reaching it out, push out through those heels, pull the toes back, let the backs of your knees sink. Relax, go just a little maybe further toward the floor. Arms by your ears, or you can bring the hands to the floor or your feet, whatever is working for you. Take a breath. Relax those inner thighs. Relax the back of your legs. Stretch the crown away from your sitting bones. Spine as straight as you can make it. Exhale, maybe go a little further. Shoulders, shoulder blades where? Yeah, toward your waist. Don't work those shoulders up toward your ears, even if your arms are extended straight. 
Take a breath, stretch it out maybe a little bit more. And then on an inhalation, come on back up. Release those arms out and back down to your sides. Bend your knees, bring the feet into butterfly. Pull the heels in close, let those knees come down toward the floor. Stretch up. Exhale, bring your hands one at a time right under your shoulders behind you. Lengthen up, press a little into the fingers, into the palms, and let those knees come a little further. And then really stretch the spine apart. And we're going to exhale and bring one arm around to the opposite knee. Other hand coming further behind you, coming into a butterfly twist. Stretch it up. Remember, this back hip, you're turning away from, can come up a little bit so that you're not planting that back of your body too much. You want the whole spine all the way from the sitting bone, tailbone, all the way up to move to the side. Take a breath. And then bring the other hand back around behind you. Stretch it up. Straighten your spine. Stretch it apart. Let those knees drop. Chest lifting, crown high. And bring the other hand around toward the opposite knee. Pull that other hand slightly further behind you. Coming a little deeper into your twist. Remember that hip you're turning away from sitting bone can come up slightly so you can twist your whole spine moving into your position. Take a breath, stretch it out, exhaling, deepening, and then releasing the hand in front, bring it back around, and both hands under your shoulders, stretch up through the chest, and again, as you exhale, pivot slightly forward, bring your arms up to the front, stretch, bring your arms by your ears, pivot back up, Arms at your ears, fingertips stretching, crown high. Exhale, hands to your knees, lift them, and bring the legs out in front. Take a moment, feel your body. We're going to bring the feet to the end of the mat. You use your core for support and slowly roll to the floor. As you get all the way down, just release those. Hips and pelvis, a lot of work there today, along with both legs. Turn the toes slightly toward each other. Let them relax. Shoulders down toward the floor. Hands, palms up. And let your back sink into that surface beneath you. Take a breath. Just relax. Everything really sink into that surface beneath you. Scan through your body. Release any tightness in your belly, in your back, in your hips, in your legs. Release the shoulders. Make sure your hands are palms up so the shoulders and shoulder blades can sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Relax your face and jaw. Release your whole body. Just let it grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth surface beneath you. Just let Mother Earth support you. Deep breath in. Exhale into each As your body softens, just let it sink even deeper into that earth embrace. Focus on your breath. Exhaling and softening, letting everything go. And just release thoughts of your body, just letting it soften and sink into that earth support. And as you release those thoughts of your body, you know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go. It's the job always of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath without attention. Thoughts flow in, thoughts flow out. Breath flowing in, breath flowing out. 
And just allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Allow that awareness to turn into that peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind, feel your being just with peace. Breathe and be peace. If you have time to keep relaxing, just take the opportunity to relax. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. So from side to side, turning around your hips and maybe giving yourself a good stretch through that lower body. Just breathe more deeply and stretch more fully as you become ready. And when you're ready for that final yoga hugger appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels and your heels up toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however it feels good for your appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.